Hi, I'm Steve, part of the testing team at Ellis Brigham and also one of the buyers. And I'm here today just to talk to you about our free ride range for this season. So first of all, free ride skis, they're wider skis. They're gonna have uh, more rocker on them. They're for somebody that wants to ski away from the piece as much as possible, hopefully in fresh snow, but it could be any condition. So I wanna start looking at the winners in the categories for the men and the women. Men's winner is the Ripstick 96 from Milan. The women's is the Ripstick 94W. So brilliant skis, uh, really light, really good fun. Um, they'll handle pretty much any snow. They've got the width to go anywhere, but they don't feel so wide that they start to hold you back on harder snow. If there was one complaint about Ripsticks, some people would maybe say they were just uh, lacking a little bit of grip at top speed on hardest snow. Well, that's been dealt with in a big way for this season. So one of the key things with a ripstick is the amphibio design. It basically, it's asymmetric. So you've got a left and a right ski. Uh, inside edges have got more camber, so you've got more grip right up towards the tip. Outside edges have got more rocker, so just a little bit more forgiving. What they've done for this year is they've changed this to amphibio carbon line tech. So the idea is, they now have a strip of carbon running up the inside edges just to improve the grip and the bite on the inside edge where you need it without affecting the outside edge. So both, this is the same on both the men's and the women's skis. So still forgiving in rough snow, but now just more precise on harder, firmer snow. Uh, you can feel the difference as well and it, it really works. So this is our men's and women's free ride skis of the year. Uh, just losing out was an Enforcer 94. Now, some people might argue Enforcer 94 could be at the top of the all mountain category, but for us, it makes a great free ride ski, especially for Europe, because we're not expecting to ski bottomless powder. We want to ski everything. And the 94 does that. Updates for this year, you got slightly wider waist, slightly different um, shape to it, but more importantly, you've got something called true tip. So the wood's now, the, the core now goes all the way to the tip. This saves a little bit of weight to the ski as well, as well as improving performance. Um, and a carbon chassis. So a carbon chassis is, again, saving weight compared to fiberglass, but it's increasing the power and the precision. So you lose none of the stability that the enforcers are known for, but you're gaining a bit more life in the ski, a little bit more energy. Women's runner-up. Uh, the ski that was new last year and won a lot of fans. Mindbender 88 Ti. Basically, again, you could say this is the top of the all mountain category, but just like an Enforcer 94, I think if you're skiing in Europe, you need a ski to ski everywhere if you're free riding. It has to have every condition and the snow isn't necessarily gonna be bottomless. So uh, you got a T-tunnel Y-beam on this. So nice and precise up at the tip, but just a little bit more forgiving at the tail because you're not gonna be skiing on hard snow, hard packed snow quite as often, hopefully. One other ski we really should mention in this category for this year that's new um, is the Salomon Stance 96. Again, like whether this is a free ride ski or whether this is an all mountain ski, people can make their own minds up. But it's a bit of a departure for Salomon. So at this sort of width, Salomon will be doing the QST 99, which is a, it's a great ski. Really smooth, um, very stable, great in softer snow. Feels nice and light. Stance 96 is kind of adjusting everything that maybe people, heavier skiers might not have liked about a QST 99. So this is a metal twin frame now. So you've got full wood core sidewalls, twin metal construction, little cutouts at the tip and tail so it's not too stiff. And then it's using Salomon's CFX fibers. So this is carbon and flax. Um, so it makes a lighter but damper version than fiberglass. So it's doing the same thing but lighter and damper. Um, and Stance 96, you can see from the shape of it, it's quite straight. This is a powerful ski. This isn't maybe something that Salomon are necessarily known for, but it's gonna make a great all-terrain model. So that's just a few highlights from the range. There's obviously a lot more skis in the free ride range. Take a look online. Um, lots of stuff. There's some new interesting models from Armada, at the Clivities and the Stranger. Definitely worth checking out what we've got. Have a look online or come in store, chat to some of the team there. We'll talk you through your options, find exactly the right ski for you. So hope to see you soon.